What's happening in the course of the next hour? Well, first up after the news, I'm going to be talking to Jeremy Cunt, uh, Hunt, the Culture Secretary, about <coughs> broadband. It's eight o'clock on Monday, the 6th of December. American officials have condemned WikiLeaks after the website published a list of hundreds of facilities said to be vital for American security. Every community in Britain has been promised that it'll have access to the fastest broadband networks within five years. <coughs> Excuse me. And Egypt has called in international shark experts to investigate a series of attacks <coughs> in the Red Sea. <coughs> Pardon me for coughing fit. The news comes from Rory Morrison. Uh, a word before we go on. I'm afraid many of you will have noticed that I landed in one of those awful verbal tangles just before eight o'clock, courtesy, I should say, of Dr Spooner. Uh, some of you, uh, we know from emails, thought it funny. Some, we also know from emails, uh, were fairly offended on a Monday morning. And uh, all I can say is, occasionally in live broadcasting, these things happen. And uh, I'm very sorry to uh, anyone who thought it wasn't what they wanted to hear over their breakfast. Neither did I, needless to say. And we have an email from Mike Page, a reader in psychology at the oh, well, University that might of Hertfordshire. Help. The prominent speech error in today's programme was more the Prime Minister's fault than Jim's. He says, it's well known in psycholinguistic research that two words that share a vowel are prone to a speech error in which the initial consonants are exchanged. For this reason, making Jeremy Hunt the culture secretary was reckless in the extreme. Jim can be reassured, as can viewers, listeners, that the underlying theory has far more explanatory value than Freud's theory of parapraxis or Freudian slips. So I'm, most, I'm most grateful, uh, <laughs> Professor Page, for that. I just, if I may repeat, sometimes things happen in live broadcasting that um, you deeply regret, and uh, anybody who was offended by what they heard, I'm very sorry, and uh, I hope you all realise that it was uh, the most unintentional thing imaginable. There we are. We'll pass on quickly. That's it from us. Our editors were Ollie Stoneley and Jack Gill. Next, March the Week with Andrew Starr. Have a very good morning.